Welcome to Extending Hot Shots. In this lesson I'm learning to solve different kinds of percentage problems. In fact we're going to look at three different types of problems. The first type is called percentage unknown. So let's imagine you're doing a test uh, and it's out of five questions you get two correct. We want to work out what percentage that is. The second part one is called uh, part unknown. So let's imagine you got 40% of the questions correct. The test was out of five. We want to know how many answers you got correct. And the third one is whole unknown. We got 40% of the questions correct. Uh, you did that by getting two questions right. So how many questions must there have been in the test? Let's start with uh, the percentage unknown questions. Let's imagine you're doing a test, you got 12 questions correct, and that's out of 16 questions. And we want to work out as a percentage what that is. So we're trying to work out the percentage there. Well, we can display that question like this. 12 out of 16 equals what as a percentage? Well, let's start by drawing that out on a number line. Now, we know that if you got 16 questions correct, that would be 100%. But you didn't get 16 questions correct, you got 12 questions correct. So we're trying to work out what percentage that is. Well, one way we can answer this is by working out how much each percentage is worth. So if we divide 100 divided by 16, we get 6.25. So we know that every mark you get is worth 6.25%. You can see this is where I got the 100 because that's the 100% and 16 because that is the total amount of questions in the test. So if we know that every mark is worth 6.25%, now we know that you got 12 correct. So we can go 12 times 6.25. You might need to use a calculator uh, for this part here. But 12, 12 times 6.25 is 75%. So we can write that in here. Another way we can work this question out is going 12 divided by 16. Because remember we had it over here as a fraction, and we can write fractions out like this. 12 over 16 is the same as 12 divided by 16. And if you use your calculator to work out the answer to that, you will get an answer of 0 0.75, which is easy to change into a percentage. That's 75%. Now let's have a look at a part unknown question. Um, for all of these questions I'm going to use our same uh, type of test um, results. So let's imagine in this, uh, for this question here, you do a test, it's out of 16 questions, you get some amount right, and as a percentage that means you get 75% percent correct. We want to work out how many questions uh, did you answer correctly. So just like last time I'm going to draw this out on a number line. We know 100 percent correct would be getting all 16 questions right. And we know that you got 75 percent so we're trying to work out how many questions was that. One way we can do that is working out how many marks each percentage is worth. And we can do that by dividing or taking 16 and dividing that by 100. I've got the um, 100 from here, that's 100%, and I've got the 16 because that would be getting every question right in the test. Now 16 divided by 100 is 0 0.16. So one percentage is worth 0 0.16 marks. Now we know that you got 75% correct. So we can go 75% times 0 0.16.
and I'm using this um, 0.16 here because um, remember 0.16 is how many marks each percentage is worth. Now 75 times 0.16 is 12. So we can go ahead and write that in here. So 12 out of 16 is the same as 75%. Another way we could have worked this out is we know that you got 75% right out of the test and the test was out of 16. So we need to find 75% of that. Well, we know that 75% is 0.75 as a decimal. So we can type this into our calculator. 16 times 0 0.75 equals 12. So we know we got the right answer. Now let's look at the last type. It's whole unknown. So again, using the same type of question, um, you you sit a test, you get 12 questions right out of some amount, and that means that you, you get 75% of the test correct. Well, let's put that on a number line again. We know that 12 questions correct is worth 75%. So we're trying to work out what 100% would be, or all the questions in the test. Well, if we take those 12 marks that you got, 12, and divide them or share them between the 75 percentage points, we get 0 0.16. So that means that for every mark you get correct, it's worth 0 0.16 of a percent. By the way, when you're typing this into a calculator, you just have to write 12 divided by 75. I've just left the 75, the percentage bit there, so we know what we're talking about. We're talking about 75%, the amount you got correct. Now, if we know that every percentage point is worth 0 0.16, and we know that answering every question in the test correct would be 100%, we can do 0 0.16 times 100, which gets us 16, which is the total amount of questions in the test. Now, I know we've gone through these three quite quickly, but there's a good PowerPoint on this at uh, teachertools.co.nz, and you can also view um, other videos there as well.